All right, so here we are back in Final Cut Pro 10 once again, and the new color finale has made it so easy to make your own custom LUTs. Here I've made a project with four clips from a real estate video I shot earlier this week. And as you can see, these clips are very flat and dull because I was trying to preserve the dynamic range so that the highlights wouldn't be overly blown out. And we're gonna add some life to this by creating a look and then saving it as a LUT so that we can apply it to all the clips in this video as well as future videos. And to do this, we're gonna start by adding Color Finale Pro as an effect on our clip. We're gonna open the controls and so far we're gonna do everything just as we normally would when grading footage in Color Finale. You can make a color wheels layer and bring down some of your shadows, bring up those highlights, go into your curves and add some contrast by making an S curve. And now to give it a unique style or look, I'm gonna fade out these shadows a little bit and I'm actually gonna push some red into the shadows using the red curve, just to give it a bit of a vintage look. And of course you can play around in the vectors, make your yellows a little more orange if you like, make your reds a little more yellow, push your blues into more of a teal, and in our HSL curves, we can further increase our saturation in those already saturated areas, and perhaps bring down the saturation in those desaturated areas to get a really contrasty, interesting look. If I turn off and on our entire adjustment so far, this is what it looks like. And I'm pretty happy with this. I like that desaturated sort of vintage cinema look. So now I want to export this as a LUT. To do this, all we have to do is hit this gear icon, hit export as LUT, choose where we want to save it. In this case, I've made a folder called custom LUTs. I'm gonna save it as real estate. You can choose the resolution hit save, and that is literally it. You have made a LUT in Final Cut using Color Finale, and it's that easy. And to continue using this LUT, you can go ahead and add Color Finale Pro to another clip, open the controls and go to the LUT utility, hit this gear icon and launch the LUT manager. I'm gonna make a new folder and title it custom, and then I'm gonna hit the plus sign and find the LUT we just created. As you can see, it is saved as a cube file and we hit open. And we're just gonna make sure that we drag it into our custom folder and we can go ahead and close this. So now every time you wanna use these LUTs, they're already gonna be saved in Final Cut in your folder. So you just go to the LUT utility, you open the LUT gallery and there it is. You just click on it and it's applied to your clip. It's that simple. And I just love how brilliantly convenient this is. So what I wanna do is apply the LUT to the entire video, but that takes way too much time. So to save time, I'm gonna delete Color Finale from the first two clips, and I'm gonna add a look grade adjustment layer over top of my footage, which comes with Color Finale Pro, and I'm going to add Color Finale to this adjustment layer, open the controls, go to our LUT utility, show the LUT gallery, and add our LUT. Now, since the adjustment layer is covering the entire timeline, our LUT is applied to every clip and we are good to go. So now to test if these LUTs actually work across programs, here we are in Adobe Premiere. I've already added an adjustment layer over top of these two clips here. And what I'm gonna do is in Lumetri Color, I'm gonna go to the Creative tab, and I'm gonna browse for a look, find the LUT we created, and as you can see, the same LUT that we created in Final Cut is applied to our footage in Premiere, and you can use this LUT in absolutely any software that supports them, which is so cool because creating LUTs has never been easier until Color Finale just released this update, so I highly recommend you guys check it out. But thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please hit it with a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below letting me know what videos you would like to see in the future. And until next time, peace.